We have uh, two priorities. One is balancing speed with equity. The acting Secretary of Health gave his weekly vaccine distribution briefing to state senators Monday. Several senators questioned why the state is still holding on to shots to use as second doses, despite a federal recommendation to use all the shots they have now. What we do know is every one of those second doses that's been received has somebody's name on it. And what we don't want to do is give it away to somebody else when it's got somebody's name on it. You put the name on it. The federal government didn't put the name on it, Mr. Secretary. You put the name on it. Two mass vaccination sites opened in the last week. Schrader says 12,000 appointments were booked in 30 minutes. Senator Young questioned if the doses allocated for those sites take away from those for county health departments. We had 72,000. We're now getting 88,000. So there was an increase of 16,000. So uh, we're you using expect. about 14,000 uh, uh, a week for the mass vac sites. So you could say that we're using the increase for that. Several senators also say they're hearing from constituents that the process of signing up is frustrating. There are now 2,000 providers around the state and they have to sign up with each one separately. Senator Lamb would like to see a single sign up system. There's no ability for a one stop shop. I don't think that would be in our best interest because we, there's a very high risk we would could create a single point of failure. If we try well, right to, now, you have a lot of different points of failure. Well, no, I would argue that we've got 84% of the first doses have been, have been administered, and uh, there are many appointments, so we are getting a very high rate of immunization in the state. Schrader pointed out that a lot of these issues are due to the extremely limited vaccine supply, but he's hopeful that will change soon if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine gets FDA approval. At the State Health Department, Kim Day, CWBAL-TV 11 News.